Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty kind of strange and kind of crazy Xbox news going on, and I kind of feel a bit bad because I feel like the Xbox news cycle has been kind of somewhat on the negative side, but sometimes we see these stories and just a lot of stuff kind of comes on out. So we're going to talk about some kind of huge three big things. Number one is on a huge Xbox potential exclusive that kind of ultimately end up falling flat. It's actually kind of a continuation of a prior story. We also have a pretty funny misprint, too. Uh, well, after Xbox spent around $70 billion, um, well, the fact that some of these games are not even coming out correctly. And as well, we even have some more uh, statements from Phil Spencer on the Xbox acquisition of, well, Call of Duty and all the other various games. And a lot of this stuff's going to be kind of like a lot of big more news because with Call of Duty in the news cycle, there'll be a lot of talk on that, especially with PlayStation's calls. And then same thing, too, as well with, well, everything else in the news. So let's go talk about it and as well make Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the $500 or Xbox giveaway going on too as well. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below too. We also do have the Target and Amazon links as well, so keep that in mind. And let's go and dive into the video itself. So very first and foremost, I want to show you guys something kind of funny over here because it's just it's just dumb. Like If I was a part of like a trillion dollar business, which Microsoft is, or a multiple like hundreds of billion dollar business, which Xbox is, or a part of a $70 billion huge acquisition, which both Activision, aka Call of Duty and Xbox are a part of, I would make sure this would never happen. But we're now actually finally seeing some misprints of the brand new Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, is literally putting it on the Xbox. So as you guys know, if you go to a Walmart, Target, Best Buy, whatever, they literally have Xbox versions or PlayStation versions or Switch versions of games themselves. So <laughs> this, dude, I, someone's probably getting fired. <laughs> Let's be honest here. So basically on the Xbox version, of Call of Duty, so like the physical disc edition of the Xbox side, it literally goes and boast and says, once again on the Xbox, that it's the best seller on PlayStation console. Oh, God. Dude, I already know that someone who wrote this and like made the box art, made through all this stuff, is probably gotten a few emails already as of today or the past few days. Probably has a meeting scheduled probably for this Monday because, you know, I'm making this video on Sunday. So I'm sure this Monday they're probably getting it like there's already a probably meeting already scheduled on over there with their boss. And uh, someone might be getting fired, which Jesus. So once again, Xbox is spending $70 billion to work and buy Call of Duty. So that first and foremost, you want to make sure Big Daddy Microsoft and Xbox is not upset. But they now have a back of the box call out has now been seemingly printed in error where it has the best seller franchise on Xbox, and then La Franchise La Plus Vendure sur PlayStation. Now, maybe that's just a me thing, but I'm pretty sure that there's like an ultimate brand book thing where you just do not want to com like mention your competitors. Like if you're in a Pepsi ad, you typically don't want to mention Coke or Dr. Pepper. It's just kind of a rule of the state. I mean, sometimes in very rare extensions, but if for a general printing, you do not want to mention number one, the competitor, because literally that same PlayStation disc is probably right next to it. So what if someone opens up this Xbox disc and they see, hey... It's awesome on PlayStation. They may just even put it back and either want to buy a PlayStation, sell their Xbox, or just literally go buy the, if they have both consoles, buy it on PlayStation itself. So someone probably is getting fired. So as you guys can see, based on the box copies of Activision Shooter boldly claim on the rear of their packaging that the Call of Duty series is the best-selling franchise on Xbox or PlayStation, depending on the format the copy is for. However, in Canada, where packaging must display text in both English and French, Activision appears to have forgotten to translate this particular text, leading to now an awkward callout for the console arrival. So as you guys can see, it's, well, apparently saying it's really good on PlayStation. So basically, best-selling franchise on Xbox somehow translated on the first line to the second one where <laughs> best-selling on <laughs> PlayStation. It basically says, uh, I work at a store who has a bunch, and yep, and they did basically go and confirm this, that this is also on there too as well. So uh, these might be also maybe potentially re like removed, because if I was Xbox, I'd probably complain. I'd try to get my money back and complain about this and get it all done. So these actually might be rare copies tied on in as well. So a <laughs> uh, crazy, crazy story to go and see on this. But it also kind of goes and then dives into like the same segue over here where basically Phil Spencer is still to this point after all this drama these past few weeks with PlayStation stating like, bro, no, we want Call of Duty, Call of Duty coming out. He's still saying that the Activision Blizzard deal will be approved and that we're very focused on making this happen with some very, very strong quotes such as uh, basically just kind of. Introducing it, Xbox's acquisition of Blizzard is still in the process of being finalized. It's going to be a very long process. We'll be 
even if it's like mostly done in the first half of 2023, I'd be surprised. But while it might be frustrating for the team at Microsoft, Xbox boss Phil Spencer said the ongoing discussions surrounding the size of the acquisition is warranted. So it's kind of basically giving everyone a free pass, like PlayStation, Google, Apple, and all these other big countries such as like Brazil or like, you know, Saudi Arabia, America, UK. And they're all chiming in and being like, is this good? Is this bad? Is this a monopoly? Should we allow this? Should we not allow this? All that together. So a big thing to kind of note is that Phil Spencer's like, bro, it's going to happen. It's going to be a high profile case. Everyone knows Xbox. Everyone knows PlayStation. We're going to be talking about it. It's totally fine. So basically, he did an interview over here with Wall Street Journal Tech Live in 2022 earlier on this week. And he also then reiterated how the Xbox is still very focused on getting this approval and was confident the deal would go through. And here's what they had to say in quotes. It might be surprising to people, but I'm not an expert in on doing seventy billion dollar deals, myself included. I wish I could even I wish I could even look at that amount of money at one point. But I do know that we're very focused on getting approval in the major jurisdictions, and I'm spending a lot of time in Brussels, London, and with the FTC here in the US. So basically he's just dealing with going to London because they're currently in court, giving like getting statements, getting reviews, talking with the judges and juries and all these regulators, and as well having places like PlayStation, you know, uh, Jim Ryan, Apple, etc. Chime on in to see is this a monopoly? Is this good for gaming? And as you guys probably know through my videos, the big issue is not necessarily about PlayStation, which it is a big issue, but more so about competing smaller markets that may just not be able to go compete with a $70 billion studio on top of everything else that Xbox has on top of their own cloud system. So X cloud that Microsoft owns, which they either get it for free or deals will for. And as well, just the fact that it's just so hard to go and have a smaller company, get the funding of over, let's say at least a hundred million dollars to get those angel investors and make it happen. So they will say, they said, I would say the discussions have been very fair and honest. It is a big acquisition. There is no doubt. Microsoft is in its role in the tech industry is a very large tech company. And I do think the discussion around an acquisition of this size is warranted and I've appreciated the time to go and spend. So basically, they just kind of realize it's going to be a big issue. A lot of folks are going to be talking about this and it's important to go through. We're really focused on getting the deal approved in the markets. I'm confident in that. I was just in London last week, continue to have discussions with the regulatory boards, and remain confident that we'll get the deal approved. Now, obviously, as an Xbox boss, he's going to say that regardless, but I'll be very kind of curious to see in the future on if this is going to be true, how eventful it's going to be, and everything else tied on in. Like, is it going to go through or not? So basically, the UK's Marketing and Competition Authority regulator with the CMA has previously voiced concerns about Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard, potentially hurting PlayStation, and more so on the other competitors in the industry, particularly in regards to Xbox securing the Call of Duty IP. Phil mentioned earlier this week how Xbox has no plans to pull the plug in Call of Duty on other platforms when a deal goes through, though. However, a lot of folks still want to go and see on how consistent and how likely that is actually going to be. So give me your thoughts on this still ongoing situation. Now, to kind of wind down this video, too, there is a little bit more talk on Genshin. We made a video about a week ago discussing how the Chinese market and developers is a huge big side. And when it comes to this, Funny enough, Genshin Impact was actually almost an Xbox exclusive. Now, right now, it's currently on PlayStation, and it's been printing money. It's been printing, printing money. Uh, and, well, they have all the other big games like Spider-Man, God of War, Bloodborne, Death Stranding, etc. And Xbox has been a little bit slacking on exclusives from their Xbox studios. But if they would have somehow got Genshin Impact, they probably would have made a lot of money. Now, on PlayStation, it's probably one of the more higher-grossing games for microtransactions and player base. It's also free-to-play. So it kind of goes to show that it's going good. Like, that console's going good. It's feeling good. So, uh, yeah, apparently at the end of the day, Xbox was this close of owning and being a part of Genshin Impact. So, basically, it's a free-to-play game that's still, you know, still to come on Nintendo Switch, but as of right now, it's a console exclusive for PlayStation. So, apparently, uh, when it came to, it never actually came to Xbox consoles. Like, it sounds like PlayStation looked down on some exclusivity deal during the game's development. It's so like a one-year or so development mark. And as well, Xbox reportedly had the same opportunity, but passed on the game and a decision that likely cost it millions and probably more if they make other games, because they've also made games like Honkai Impact, and they're making another Genshin clone type style of game in space instead. So it's probably one of the most popular games. It's generated billions of dollars since release, and it probably would also have had that share on consoles too. So apparently Reuters also did mention that, well... A lot of folks didn't think that game was going to go good, Xbox included, so they end up passing on the exclusivity or Game Pass rights or deal.
deals. But right after they were basically given up on that, PlayStation struck the deal in its place. So very intriguing to go and see because earlier on this week, we saw a lot more focus on the Asian markets and developers. So that kind of sucks for Xbox itself. So give me your thoughts and comments down below as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5, Xbox, or $5 giveaway. Twitter and Twitch stream down below. Target links down below and Amazon links too as well down below. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.